face. Yeah. All that you have done through your son Jesus for us. Yeah. Oh, Father, Elder mentioned about how you could you can be down. Oh, Father, what a refreshing from the Holy Ghost. Oh, Father, we'll call if you to pick your weapons up again. And you're ready to fight. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, thank you. Oh, for the indwelling Holy Spirit. Oh, Father, is that when we are weak, then we are strong. Oh, Father, we have no strength of our own. But it's all in you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. Oh, Father, that when we uh, when we've been wounded, He can comfort us, God. Oh, Father, when we when we've done wrong, He can convict us. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, He will love us. He will love us and comfort us. Oh, Father, give us boldness to get back up, Father. Oh, Father, and walk in confidence. Walk victorious. your son Jesus. Yeah. We thank you, Father. Yeah. Bless you, Father, for this morning. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, thank you, God. Oh, yeah. Father, y'all that our hearts have felt. He has prepared this morning. Yeah. Every soul that is in this place. Yeah. Father, what you will continue to do. We depend totally upon you. Yes, yes. We need you right now, God. I could not even speak another word without your help. Yes, yes. Depending on you, God. We thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Yes. Oh, Father, we thank you for your church. Yes. Thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you for the work of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, we thank you for your providential love. Yes, hallelujah. Give you praise and thanksgiving. Bless each household represented in here, right? Yes. Let's all say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. God is good to us. Yes. And he is worthy to be praised. Yes. Amen. We've been blessed. And God is in the blessed business. Yes. We're grateful for all of you. And special thanks to Deacon Clement. Makes the sacrifice, praise God. When the opportunity uh, bids him, he shows himself faithful. He loves the Lord. He loves the Lord. And he has a special love in his heart for his church. Amen. Thank God for him. He said something so uh, beautiful this morning concerning the submission of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And how each one in their role is submissive to the other. Jesus said, I come to do the will of him that sent me. Amen. Jesus, he made himself of no reputation. Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit come, he will not speak of them things <laughs> of himself, but will bring to your remembrance those things which I have said unto you. Yeah. Yeah. And in that, in that submission, that's why they're unified. Yeah. Yeah. And that unity, God is, God is big about unity. Jesus yeah. prayed yeah. that we would be one even as he and the Father yes, are Lord. one. How important that is. Yes. God. And God is concerned about order. Yes. Yes, he He's is. concerned about order. Yes, he is. Yes, That's why he is. we have, we have yes. uh, uh, the bridegroom and we have the bride. The bride. Yes, God gives, yeah. Yeah, he gives us order even in our civil lives as the government. Yes. Right, right. We are the civilians. Yes. Right. There are masters and there are slaves. Right. In the home, he said, Christ is the head of the church. Of the church. As Christ is head of the church, even as the husband of the wife. Yes. And then we have our children. God is concerned about order. Yes. And when we all yes. 
walk in what he's called us to do in our roles, it causes us to be in unity. That is in the word right. from God. That's exactly that. Absolutely. It's a well-oiled machine when we walk in unity. Amen. And in order to do that, we must walk in the role in which we've been given. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. So they bless me. Thank you, brother. We're going to read our scripture this morning. We're going to go down to the second chapter. John the second chapter, we're going to start at the 11th verse. The gospel or the epistle? The gospel. The gospel. The gospel of John, the second chapter. The second chapter. John, the second chapter. Start at verse 11. And it reads This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this, he went down to the parlor. He and his mother, his brother, and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen, sheep, and doves, and the changes of money city. And when he had made a Scared the small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that so does, Take these hints, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And his disciples remember that it was written, The zeal of thine house have eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us? seeing that thou doest these things. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and was thou reared up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. And therefore he was risen from the dead. His disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Yes. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. Mm. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. Yes. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Amen. Amen. Uh, verse 17, his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Mm -hmm. Talk about the zeal of thine house. Yeah. The zeal of thine house. Uh, Amen. We uh, uh, are. Praise God. Uh, we were thinking on the scripture this morning. Uh, well, actually, this week, you know, I was thinking about Jude. And the book of Jude talks about, uh, let us contend mm -hmm. for the faith that was once right. delivered yes. to the saints. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. And that is something that we should be doing all the time. Yeah. Contending for the faith, because there's one faith, uh, right, right. that was once delivered to the saints. But that's an issue if you don't have the right faith. Right, right. Right. A lot of times people can contend for uh, the faith that was once delivered, but they must know what that faith is. Right. About. That's the only faith, the faith that is according to the truth of God. Mm -hmm. The truth of God's revealed word. About. About. If you're going to contend for the faith, Many uh, churches say, hey, we're going to get back to doing what, the way it used to be, the, 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 the old time religion we used to have and those things like that. But that must be right in order that it may be effective right, right, right. for today. Amen. So we got to have the right faith. Amen. The only way to do that is to follow what scripture says. Amen? Amen. 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 
contended for the faith. We want to do everything we do. We want to know why we do it. We must do it according to the gospel. Amen. I'm just thinking about that. You know, just a lot of times of, uh, of people talking about uh, reforming and doing things a lot of times. Well, sometimes if you got the wrong thing in the first place, what are you reforming to? If you're going back to what's what was in error in the beginning. Amen. A lot of people tell us that we need to do what the old folks did. Well, we need to make sure what the old folks were doing was right. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. right. And we, we're in a time now where uh, the, there is a greater distraction. Mm. The, the Word of God is uh, uh, becoming uh, distinct, uh, extinct, mm -hmm. as, as far as church is concerned. Right. Church is right. uh, uh, filled with everything but the Word. Those of us that know him, yes. we know how important it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. We know how important it is mm -hmm. that his word mm -hmm. has to reach the hearts. Mm -hmm. That's no other way for a person to be saved. Right. Right. We got to hold this like a treasure. Right. <laughs> we got to treat it as the most, the most valuable antidote ever. Seen in 
in our example, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. right? So the beginning of this miracle, the beginning of the miracles did Jesus in Cana Galilee manifested. It showed that when he made wild wine, when he took those vessels, he didn't change the vessel. Notice that. He didn't change the vessel, but what was in the vessel was changed. Right. Right. Amen. Right. And we have a treasure in earthen vessels. Right. That's true. That's true. That the power may be of God and not of us. Right. He made that old, old ceremonial way, mm -hmm. he, that old religious way, mm -hmm. by his grace, it's the new wine of his grace. Right. Right. He made us new creatures exactly. in him. Exactly. The Bible said the disciples believed on him. Now they didn't believe totally, but their faith grew. Uh, right. It grew. Uh, right. Amen. Still things they did not understand. And guess who understood that? Christ understood that. Sure he I said about the Holy Spirit, He will lead and guide you into all truth. Amen. 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 We still are yet learning. Yeah. Right. Things are still being revealed to us right. 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 by His Spirit. Right. Right. According to this year. Right. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Girl called me. Hmm. I'm picking up. Sister Miriam, Mother Miriam, the other day, a young lady called me and said, I found my husband. She's told me this about seven times. <laughs> so this time she said, I found my husband. I said, okay. <laughs> Again? <laughs> she said, well, it was prophesied to me. And, 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 and I didn't think about it at first because he had all the descriptions and what they said about him, this and that. I said, well, you told me a couple of other times it was prophesied to you. So I said, whoever's doing this prophet lying to you? <laughs> I said, have they ever told you that you're not to be unequally yoked together with unbelievers? She said, you're right. And you know, I just want to talk to her about it. But guys, it's important. And we follow the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. He's not going to give right. you, you're going to be right in all these areas, and, and, and then you're going uh, to you disregard other areas. Right. Right. The word of God is one truth. Right. 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 And the Holy Spirit, it, it, if, if you have it, he will lead and guide you into all of it. into all truth. Amen. So it said, this is the beginning of the miracles Jesus did in Cain of Galilee manifested forth his glory. So he's showing that what he did, that, that was a miracle. He made water, something that it never was before. That's, that's what he's doing in our salvation. He makes us something that we never was before. He mm -hmm. made something out of nothing. Who can do that except to be the creator? Right. 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 So we see Jesus is coming and replacing it. Fulfilling the types and shadows and, uh, of all the other things. And uh, he, he didn't come just to uh, uh, tidy up the law. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law. But he said, I come to fulfill. What we see is Jesus is coming on the scene. John the Baptist uh, said that, 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 that uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Why is the kingdom of heaven at hand? Because the king is here. Right. And when the king comes, ain't going to be like any other king before. Right. This king is going to come with all power. Yeah. What he does, he's not going to do, he's not going to half do it. He's not going to be like, 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 like king. 
I'm kind of looking forward to the observation with the eyes, but you ain't going to see it that way. This kingdom, praise God, this kingdom is going to be in you. That king, he's going to come, he's going to do a complete work. Like what he told them with the, with the vessels, he said, turn to the brim. Yeah. Hey Amen. Yes, Don't leave no room for anything else. That's what he does for us in salvation. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. This king is coming and, and, and he's going to be capable, he's going to be sufficient in what he does. Yeah, man. Man. He's not going to leave anything lacking. John said it this way. He was full of grace yeah. and truth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So at the beginning of the miracle, say it was at that uh, wedding, and, and they they was uh, they were out of wine, so uh, they 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 weren't gonna have any joy. But where there was no joy, Jesus brought joy. Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. After this, he went down to Capernaum. He and his mother. I read that. Uh, uh, go to verse 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. The Jews' Passover, now we understand that the Passover was to commemorate when they came out of Egypt. Jesus, God told them to uh, take a lamb, uh, put a, a lamb away for uh, each household. He told them to put it away for three days and make sure there was no impurities in it. He told them to kill it. He told them to take the blood and put it on the doorpost and the lintel. Amen. And he said, when I pass over, he said, when I see the blood, everybody that was under the blood and the blood had been applied. Yeah. Amen. They would be spared. Right. They would be saved. That's right. Amen. Right. And, and, and with the Passover, they were also that when the feast was instituted, they also were to start another feast called the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Amen. We understand leaven and the praise God of Skeppel. Uh, they put it clearly yeah. uh, out there talking about the leaven. Yeah. Now a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Yeah, that's right. Leaven representing sin. Yeah. 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 Representing yeah. hypocrisy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so uh, they had the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Feast of Passover came together. Mm -hmm. And so at three times of the year that the, that the Jews are to appear uh, 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 before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it and say the Feast of Unleavened Bread. But at that is also the Passover because they come in together. Yeah, right. they come in together. Right. We'll talk about more about that, but let's let's look at uh, what we have here. It said, "And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. That is the place where they to go to the temple, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it said that Jesus." went to Jerusalem. Now, when we look at this, again, as we were telling you last week, is when Jesus came to the to the wedding, uh, you know, we don't just want to look at Jesus as uh, the little baby that was in the manger, the little carpenter boy, but uh, John has even uh, uh, already identified him as a few things. First of all, he identified him as the Word. He said in the beginning was the Word, the Logos of God, and the Word was with God, and what? The Word was God. He's already showed us that Jesus, he is the creator. He said there was nothing made that was not made what? By him. He said he's the true light. He's the light that light every man that cometh into the world. He's the God man. He said he, the word was made flesh. Dwelt among us. He's Emmanuel. God with us. Amen. He is the glory of God. Full of what? Grace and truth. Amen. He is, he, he, he is the one that all the types and shadows in the Old Testament. He's the fulfillment of those things. He's the Messiah, the priest, the prophet, the king of God. He's the, the one John said, I baptize you with water. That's one that shall baptize. And he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He is 
as John came, he said, he saw him coming and he said, behold, what? The Lamb, the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. We got to keep in mind who this is that have come to this feast. Amen. Now, now, a few more things that we know about him that John Parker did not identify in, in the first chapter, but we know him as Said that when he died upon the cross, what happened to the veil? Right. It was torn in two from the bottom to the top. Right. It was from the top, top right. to the bottom. He's the he's the, the, the wall of the partition remover. Yeah. Right. There was a wall that uh, a, a partition between the Jews right. and the Gentiles. Right. He's the he he right. he reconciles. He's the re reconciler. Yes. Jesus, who is this going to the Passover of the Jews? Jesus, our Passover. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, uh, Mr. Holland said that he is our high priest yeah. in the book of Hebrews this morning. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. And Amen. So this is who is going. We see the one that is going. Mm -hmm. I want to read that again. What? Mr. Holland read, he said, now the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and the true, what, tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. Amen. This is their greatest feast. This is that uh, one of the greatest things that they make mention of in scripture of how God delivered the children of Israel. And this feast, praise God, none of their feasts was to be taken lightly, but they all had a proper way of being uh, kept. And so, at this feast, it said that Jesus, the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Let's look at verse 14. It said, found in the temple those that sold oxen, oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what he found in the temple. It said he found those that sold uh -huh. in the temple. Sally, he found a shopping mall. Now, the temple is a very important place. The temple, uh, God, is, God has always dwelt with his people. He always had a place of dwelling with them. And, 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 and those places, you see, uh, in, the, in the Old Testament, uh, Moses was instructed to build God a temple, and he gave uh, specifications of how it's to be built. Right. And that temple would be a place for God to come and dwell with his people. Amen. And then they would have the ark, the ark of the covenant. Yeah. And then like, God would dwell with them amongst the mercy seat yes. of the ark. Amen. And we see even in some of the, uh, uh, we saw David desire to build God a house, but he couldn't do it because his hand had shed blood. Uh, right. But Solomon was able to build him a temple. Right, right. And Solomon had a beautiful temple yes, yes. that was built. Mm -hmm. I want you to know this temple mm -hmm. was destroyed. Its walls burned down with fire. Mm -hmm. But there was a rebuilding of the temple. Uh, right. You see, uh, in the time of Zerubbabel and Nehemiah, the temple was rebuilt. Uh, right. And that were the, right. the, the, the old people kind of grieved. Because the, 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 the temple was not as glorious as the former temple. The young people rejoice. Man, because they, they, they did not understand. They didn't understand what the, what the former temple was like. So, so they didn't put as much, they, they, they couldn't appreciate it like the older people. And, and that's going on today. Right. We gotta be careful about letting young people be the decision makers of the church. Right. The, uh, the people who don't know the Lord. Right. They don't understand uh, uh, right. what it means to contend for the faith right. that was once delivered. Right. And when, when, when young people going forth and, and they celebrating in the church, the old people, we sitting back looking like we've been sucking on 
don't say our limits. Mm. <clears throat> Why? Because we know that the, the, that the glory is not there. It's an inner bar. Yeah. Yeah. If you know what that means. Yeah, that's the part. It means the glory has departed. Yeah. 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 A lot, of, a lot of things going on in the name of the Lord yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that we understand is not in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But what he saw was, now, let me tell you, the temple, I know when we think of the temple, we think of new Christian life. Yes, we thank God for this church. But let me tell you about Herod's temple. Uh, just an just a, amount of a size. It, it, it was over 230 worshipers there. 230,000 worshipers. That were attendants. They were being there worshiping in the temple. So this temple was, y'all even think about this size. And I'm telling you why, why it's important for the size, I'll tell you in a moment. But it, it, you started, you know what West Main starts at 109? They come up to New Christian Life. Mm -hmm. Size of that temple. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's me. And it had different courts. It had courts for the Gentiles, courts for the women. You know, it had walls that separated them, right? right. The Jews had their place. Right. Then you had the sanctuary. Mm. Then you had the most holy place. Mm. You had the holy place and the most holy place. Mm. Mm. You had, I mean, it was massive. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, so Jesus is on his way to the feast of Passover at the temple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we know what Jesus expects to see. Mm -hmm. But what did he see when he got there? He saw those that sold. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. He saw a shopping mall. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the area that had been taken up was the court of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and Jesus, uh, in the book of Mark, he says, that my father's house shall be called a house of prayer mm -hmm. for all nations. Mm -hmm. yeah. For all people, not just Jews. Uh, right. But you have made it a what? Den of thieves. thieves. Mm -hmm. So they had taken the, the, the area of the Gentiles, they turned it into a marketplace. Right. Now, what were they selling? They were selling the things that they needed. They were selling the right thing. They were selling the right things for the right purpose. They were selling the right things for worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. However, what they was doing, and I'm going to tell you who was in charge, was the authorities, the high priests. Yeah. The high priests were in charge of the temple. Yeah. Go to Malachi, the third chapter. Keep your finger right there. Go to Malachi, the third chapter. Third chapter. And this is a picture of what we see. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger. Mm -hmm. And he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeared? For he is like a refiner's fire and full of soul. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to John the second chapter. We see Jesus coming to the temple. And we see that as he comes, what he sees is he sees them that sowed. And he also saw changers. Those that sold were selling what was needed for worship. But what they had decided to do, the people that was responsible for the temple were the Levites, were the priests. Mm -hmm. They had taken and changed the worship area for the Gentiles and turned it into a marketplace and said, let's make it convenient for them. But I want you to understand that worship always required preparation. Right. Um, they were to take 
<coughs> their own sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And they were to make sure that their sacrifice was, was good enough for offering. Right. Yeah. It could not have any blemishes. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have one eye. It had to be the best. Mm -hmm. It had to, you had to prepare for worship. Right. So you just can't come and say, hey, see, that will make it convenient for them. Hey, don't worry about you getting one, buy one from us. <laughs> Making it convenient for worship. And the people would buy one. Then you had the, 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 the changers who you had to pay a temple tax. You had to spend their type of currency. So they had to take your money and they would charge you a tax in order that you may be able to purchase uh, the, the right thing when you should have brought your own offering. Right. You should prepare to worship yourself. You know, this is not a rush thing. I'm going to get to worship type thing. I, I'm going to run in real quick, do what I got to do, and I'm going to run back out. I've done the thing that God wanted me to do. God is particular about worship. Right. Jesus tells the woman at the well that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And God seeketh such to worship him. Yeah. But why would Jesus be telling this woman who's had five husbands and the one she was with then, Shacklewell, was not her husband? Why would he tell her that? Because she she can't be one. <laughs> Except God seeking her right. to be one. Right. Uh, uh, right. Right. Uh, right. Amen. Right. Right. That woman, praise God, she is now a worshiper of God. Yeah. Well, how did that happen? She just stopped sleeping with men? No, I want you to know something. She met the right man. Yeah. And the right man told her what she needed to hear. Yeah. He dealt with her sin. Yeah. Amen. He dealt with her sin, revealed himself to her. And now she is, she understands that God is a spirit. And they that worship him is not in a place, but it's in a person. Amen. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. So when he saw him, the changes that were there, the temple authorities, listen, those of us that are in authority, who are responsible for the worship in the house of the Lord, they were being passive and participating. They orchestrated this business. And in that day, it was business, and today it's still business, and we've added entertainment. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Worship is not worship anymore. It's we ship or we ship. It's about me. Uh -huh. It's about us. Uh -huh. What was going on in that temple was about them and their prophets, yeah. and not God. Yeah. Right. They were not following God's instructions mm -hmm. for worship. Yeah. So what was expected in the temple was not found there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I know, I know I'm talking to uh, uh, those of us that are in authority, uh, in authority here, but you have to understand that if you have been bought with a price, you are the temple of God. You are to glorify God in your body. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Right. Uh, right. And you have a responsibility mm -hmm. to not be passive. Right. To make sure that all that you do mm -hmm. is for the glory of God. Right. Right. 
what should Jesus have heard? He should have found confession. Repentance. Intercession. Right. Prayer. Meditation. Unhindered worship. Glorious praise. And songs to Jesus Christ. But what did he hear? He heard the sound of mooing. Bads from the sheep. Mm -hmm. Chirping and wooing from the birds. And he heard some ching ching coming from the merchandisers. Mm -hmm. right. Sounds like a Pentecostal service. <laughs> A lot of mess going on. And not what should be going on. Right. Wait a minute. They had the oxen. They had the sheep. They had the doves. They had what they needed for offering. They had what they needed. But we can have everything we need for worship and for our offering. But if it's not done according to the truth, it means nothing. Right. Right. Not according to what God requires. It means absolutely nothing. Right. right. And we have Jesus who shows us what it means, what it smells like in God's nostrils. Uh huh. It stinks. Mm -hmm. So he found those his soul and the changers. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, look what he did. He drove them out of the temple. And the sheep and the oxen went. You know, I'm going to keep some of this for, I'm going to keep some of this for sacrifice? No. He drove out the sheep, the oxen. Uh, at least we got some money. We got some change. The changers, the money, and the overthrew the tables. And then he turned to those that sold doves. Doves probably had to be in caves or whatever. Look what he turned and said, hey, take these. Take these also. Take everything. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Look at verse 16. I like this. Look what he said. But look at who he said it to first. He did not beat around the bush. He said unto them that sold the ones that were desecrating the house of the Lord. He said it directly to them. Right. Yeah. He didn't cut no corners. He didn't go whisper to the disciples. Mm -hmm. But if there was a problem that needed to be extinguished, he went to the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Somebody said, how did he get rid of them? Spiderweb. Cobwebs and spiderwebs. They said, you go get a broom and you knock it down. They said, but no, let it's back up there a little while later. You got to kill the spider. He said unto them that was selling, take these things. Right. May it not my father's house a house of merchandise. Right. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. That should be all of our attitude. Mm -hmm. That God's house is not to be used for anything else. Right. right. And his disciples remembered that it was written. Well, the disciples know the Old Testament. It's in Psalm 69. They remembered that it was written. Jesus didn't have to tell them that. The things that in our life, as we live, there are things, the word of God, you have read it, you've been taught it, you've heard it, and when when the Holy Spirit comes to save somebody, and you probably can testify to it yourself, you can remember the truth of God's word. Yeah, yeah you heard it. Yeah. You heard 
even when you was in sin, you heard the Bible. And when the Holy Spirit came into your life, it brought back the truth of God's Word. A lot of times I heard people say the truth. I didn't acknowledge it as the truth. But I tell you what, I understand when the Holy Spirit came there, I remember, I can still remember people said some true things that were in the Scripture that I did not acknowledge until God opened my eyes. Open my ears. Amen. 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 They seen Jesus. They seen the word of God. They seen Jesus uh, coming to his father's house. And, and, and they remember what was written. The zeal of thine house have eaten me up. They see it in action. Jesus didn't come just to tidy up the law. He came to fulfill the law. And they remembered it was written. I mean, if it's written, it's already written. The zeal of that house is in the Old Testament. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? So now, you know, every time Jesus does something, some glorify him. Some come in opposition to him. Some are in amazement. But notice what these Jews ask him. They said unto him, what sign? See, they want a sign. Now, we just talked about the beginning sign or the be beginning signal mm -hmm. that Jesus was God was what? Mm -hmm. When he made water wine. Right. Right. So that was the beginning sign. So now here it is, they want to know another sign. Many times they ask him, what sign are you, can you show us that, that you have this authority? And even when he's on the cross, they're going to mock him. Right. And what he tells them, they're going to repeat it to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But notice what he said. He said, the Jews answered and said unto him, what sign show us out there? Let me, let, me, let me say this. Jesus already showed him a sign. I ain't talking about it in the way. Jesus went in. He made a small store. Uh, he made a whip. If I may. He made a whip and he went in and he drove all them out. I mean, he drove them out by himself. He didn't say, hey, hey Peter, y'all get them. So y'all get them. No, he went in. He went into that big, massive area all by himself and he took, made a small court and he drove them out. Cattle, oxen, everything. Say, here, take the birds. Yeah. Don't make my father's house a house of merchandise. Yeah. That's a sign all by itself. Right. That this man came into his father's house. And this man, the word of God is who he is. He spoke and they obeyed. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus didn't say he was going to destroy this temple. Mm -hmm. Right. You're right. You're right. I said, what sign are you going to show us? He said, destroy this temple. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And in three days, I will raise it up. Mm -hmm. right. Praise God. Yeah. And so a lot of times when Jesus spoke to them, they only took it naturally. Right, right, right. Nicodemus, you must be born again. What do you mean? Was I enter a second time into my mother's womb and be born? So, the next verse tells us what they thought he was saying, right? Then said the Jews, 40 and 6 years. See, it don't take 46 years to build, build in this side, right? <laughs> And you ain't going to get that much opposition to keep it this far. Forty-six years was this temple in building. And will thou rear it up in three days? That's what they think about. Wow, all this, you, you knock all this down to go 46 years Herod it took to build this temple. Uh-huh, right. And you and knock it down in three days. Uh, right. But the scripture is good right. in an open book text. It gives you what he's talking about. See, we know. We know now. We have it here, right? Uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, verse 21 tells you what, mm -hmm. what he said. What he said. Mm -hmm. right. He spake right. uh, 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 of the temple of his body. Right. Mm -hmm. What sign? show that you have this authority. Amen. They asked that question several times mm -hmm. to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But science shows that you have this authority. Mm -hmm. He told them again. He tells them that uh, shall no sign be given mm -hmm. except that of Jonas. Mm -hmm. He was in the as he was in the belly of the whale. Yeah. Three full days and three full nights. So shall the Son of Man be right. in the heart of the earth. What was he speaking of? His, his burial and what? Resurrection. Resurrection. Jesus went in. Uh, the, the disciples remembered the zeal of thine house. Mm -hmm. Have eaten Amen. me up. Mm -hmm. Zeal. Let me. Let me. And I'm close. I'm close. Let me tell you a little bit about zeal. And I'll close here. Uh, the other ginger, I got my dictionary. Got the word zeal. Got some definitions. Zeal. Mm -hmm. Great energy. Enthusiasm. In pursuit of a cause or an objective. I said it again. Great energy, enthusiasm, and pursuit of a cause or an objective. Mm -hmm. Passion, mm -hmm. love, fervor, mm -hmm. fire, as Mother talked about earlier, devotion, mm -hmm. enthusiasm, eagerness, mm -hmm. appetite, vigor, mm -hmm. intensity. Jesus gives us a vivid example of what zeal is. Right. Now, zeal, mm -hmm. he had zeal for the pure, unhindered worship of his father's house. Yeah. And we are to have the same. Amen. Many people have zeal. Right. They have devotion, but they have it for the wrong things. Jesus shows us that if you're going to have zeal, you must have zeal for the right things. Right. Right. Why did Jesus die on the cross? I tell you why he died. Jesus had such zeal for his father's house. For the worship of his father. For the will of his father. His, 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 his zeal for his father's house. Jesus cleaned the temple twice. 
at the beginning of his ministry and at the end of his ministry. Jesus cleaned the temple. That shows you his zeal for his father's house. Oh, yeah. Right. We've got to have zeal in the right place. But notice, Jesus went in, yes, he was angry. He had a spiritual indignation, but, and, and, but he still did not sin. Right. That's good news. Right. We are, it's okay right. to get angry, uh, right. but we're not to sin. Right. The Bible tells us to anger what? Yeah. Sin not. Let not the sun go down right. upon your wrath. Mm -hmm. Jesus had controlled anger. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, give you temperance and give you self-control. Yes, we get angry. But see, right. anytime we get angry for the things of the Lord, it should be for the desire right. of proper right. response, right. repentance, yes. reconciliation, right. yes. unity. Right. It should be for the edifying of the church. Mm -hmm. If you're angry just because you are angry and, and you want to give a piece of your mind and, and it amounts up to nothing and you have a desire and resentment and bitterness and hatred in your heart, the Bible said you just committed murder. But zeal is okay. And we're to have zeal for the things of God. And that's my question to you this morning. Do you have zeal for the things of the Lord? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of concerns, but we need to be concerned for what God is concerned about. Right. We put a lot of zeal into, into our jobs. Oh man, we're passionate about our jobs. We're so devoted. We're devoted. We, we put a lot of passion into our children. Fine, good. We put it into ourselves, our bodies. We put a lot of zeal and work and things into that. But I, I, I want to know, God, can we be concerned for the things of God? Amen. For the worship of the Lord? Amen. 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 Jesus Amen. He went in and he was concerned not just for the Jews. Uh -huh. He wasn't concerned just for himself. But he was concerned for his Father's glory. Right. Uh, right. Amen. Right. We are putting a lot of passion and, and energy into a lot of things that mean absolutely nothing. Right. It mounts up to nothing when it comes to the edification of the church. We need to be concerned. We need to have zeal for the right Things. Mm -hmm. Read scripture. Right. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, right. righteously, right. and godly in this present world, right. looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous. Amen. Of good works. Mm -hmm. That's doing things, mm -hmm. amen, that will bring glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to be zealous. It's okay to be zealous, but uh, be zealous for good works. Right. You can be zealous in all the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Paul said that he, he was zealous in, in, in his religion. But that religion, he counted dumb. That he might win Christ. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And so, right. Uh, 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 all of us, those of us that know the Lord, are always zealous for what God has called us to. Amen. As, as, as a pastor, as a husband, as, a, as an employee, as a citizen, am I zealous about the glory of God in all those roles? Amen. You, you as saints and witnesses and ministers and deacons and mothers, uh, are we zealous right. for the things of God? Mm -hmm. What he's called us to do. Praise God. And Jesus said, he's going to destroy this temple. Three days, I will raise it up. 
Uh, verse 22 says, When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said mm -hmm. this unto them. So John, of course, is these events have happened, but John, through the uh, inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is writing this. And verse 22 tells you about something that happens when therefore he was risen from the dead. Right. He's telling you about something, a future event as far as the, the book is concerned. <laughs> and Jesus being on the earth with them is a future event, but John is writing you and telling you that when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this mm -hmm. <clears throat> unto them. Right. And they believed the scripture right. and the word which Jesus has said. Mm -hmm. right. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and he did not that any should testify of men for he knew what was in man. Mm -hmm. What was the final signal mm -hmm. that gave proof to all that Jesus had done? It was his resurrection. Mm -hmm. When he was on the cross, they walked by and they wagged their heads at him and they said, hey, he said, destroy this temple and, and raise it up again. Mm -hmm. Three days to raise it up again. He said, he saved others and he cannot save himself. I want you to know something. Mm -hmm. He saved others. Did he not save others? Yeah. yeah. He came to die right. that he might save. Right. right. Praise the Lord. Right. He told them to right. destroy this temple in which they would. Right. They can pick it, talk about it. Deacon talked about it this morning. How that her seed shall bruise his heel. Uh, right. He would suffer. Yeah. Notice what he said. He said. I will raise it up mm -hmm. again. Amen. 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 You had to tell Pilate, Pilate, no Amen. man taking my life from me. No man. No. Except no. I lay it down. Right. Amen. Right. Who can say that? Right. Except to be God. Except to be God. That's right. All these things, when Jesus had risen from the dead, they remember what he had said. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. yes, yes. No sign going to be given you except the Jonas the prophet. Mm -hmm. right. Three days mm -hmm. and rise again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus, when he said that, mm -hmm. they had not a clue of what he meant. Mm -hmm. But when he rose from the dead, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peter was able to go and preach. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he preached to Preach. those men. Preach. Right. And he told them right. that by your wicked hands, right. you have slain right. and crucified the Holy One. The, Holy one. Yeah. the right. same one right. that you crucified right. is both Lord right. and Christ. Yeah, that's true. Peter didn't have to tell them anything else. Yeah. He told them about the resurrected Christ. Mm -hmm. right. He told them about the one whom they had offended. Mm -hmm. right. And the Bible said, mm -hmm. by him preaching that message mm -hmm. under the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, oh yeah. that men yeah. were pricked in their hearts. Yeah. And they began to say yeah. one to another, uh, right. men and brothers, yeah. What must we do? He told them yeah. to repent. Yeah. Believe the gospel. Yeah. Amen. You Amen. shall receive Amen. the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. 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 Holy Ghost comes. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he does a beautiful work mm -hmm. in the life mm -hmm. of the believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Just as we are passionate yeah. about certain areas in our life, mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. Even in the church, I can't be passionate about the thing that is convenient and easy for me. Mm -hmm. I have to be compassionate about it all. Yeah. Wow. I have to be mm -hmm. passionate about all of it. Mm -hmm. I have to be 
serious about everything. Mm-hmm. And by the grace of God, that can happen. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. By the grace of God. Mm-hmm. Right. That word came forth this week and I cried. God, I, yeah. I was helped. Uh-huh. I was helped. Yeah. Yeah. That word was piercing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was yielded to God's truth. You can't stop truth. Amen. The Holy Spirit protects you from error. But one thing he does, he leaves God in all truth. Amen. That truth, it will come across and it will hit me all kind of ways. Hit me all kind of ways. Praise God. When we thought about uh, the thing redemption, we want to uh, uh, just be reminded of how much Christ has done. Mm-hmm. The cost that was, the price that was paid yeah. for yeah. our sins. Yeah. We'll never know mm-hmm. how much it really costs. Mm-hmm. But it's good to be reminded mm-hmm. of what Jesus has done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How we can sum it up. Mm-hmm. It cost him his life. God didn't spare his son. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. But he delivered him up for us all. Yeah. How shall he not oh, yeah. freely yeah. give us yeah. not some things, yeah. not a few things, right. but all things. Yeah. Yeah. things 